Hello everyone, it's Rita here, and um, today uh, we're going to be working on, I hope that jar didn't go weird, working on the um, fan fold journal. So I worked on the cover, and uh, so that's what I wanna do first, um, is do that cover, and then we'll finish doing the inside. So I may have to stop here, uh, I set my timer for 30 minutes because I have an appointment. So. Um, then I'll finish it later if I don't get done. Okay, so, and I'm not even sure if this whole thing is going to work. So, uh, we shall see. So, my thought is I have this, um, like, um, uh, I think it's called, um, oh, uh, it's like a muslin, but it's very coarsey muslin. Um, oh, I can't think of it right now, but I'll, I'll try to remember. So... I want to put it in here like that over this like that I don't want to put it too tight because I want it to fill up that book I was going to do it really tight but I don't think I'm going to now so let's just do it because I don't know if this is gonna work or not and if it doesn't work I guess like I said I'll just cut it up and use it some other way Okay, I'm gonna use the Sobo fabric glue. And I think we're just gonna have to, I think I'm going to go ahead and like glue this down anyways, cause I was gonna put um, the cover in that little section there, but since I'm doing a different cover, I don't need it. So don't, forget though if you want to put like chipboard cover you need to have that little bit of a this is sort of showing through I hope are glued together <laughs> so I didn't want it to show through too much okay and I also feel like I have to do this part to hold those pages together I hope I can you can see me. I kind of moved my camera down a little bit today because I felt like everything was so far away for you to see. Okay, so put that on. Okay, sure what's going to happen. Okay. I'm just kind of see how it, maybe it's going to work. Maybe it's going to be fine. I sure hope so. This one here is the weird one. So I don't know what I did. Okay, that's there. And that is there. I feel like I need to glue it down somewhere, but I can't figure out where I need to glue it. Maybe I'll figure it out eventually. Okay, so um, I guess that, that's okay. that's like I don't like that but I would have to glue it inside here maybe I can put a little bit of glue um, 
I should have glued it before I put it on, but I'm not, I didn't know for sure how that, what was happening exactly. So I'm just going to do it right here on the two bottom parts and I think it'll hold it. And then we have the book cover too. Okay, so there's that to start. I still have to sew around this tag. Okay, now for the book cover, um, I played with this and played with it, um, trying to find an image that looked good in here. And this color here, I don't know if you can tell on the camera or, you know, on, on your uh, screen, it's kind of a pinky, kind of a rosy color. So that's why I went with this little print. Plus I had it already printed and I'm like, I don't want to go to the computer and reprint everything and, you know, sample this. Then I did botanical and I did that with um, these uh, stamps, um, letter stamps that you snap together. So I thought that turned out okay. And then I put a little book page behind that. And I just um, thought I was just going to do this simple and just put a little collage -y thing right there. So um, I'm going to do that first before I do the inside because I've kind of got it laid out. This, um, I thought I'd try this again because I think it looks so cool. But right now I am rusting a bigger one that was silver. It feels like it wants to explode. But I've only had this in here 15 minutes when I first started the video. So I put some charms in, some paper clips, and anything that I thought would rust that were silverish. Um, oh, hold on. I guess that lid's not very secure. Where is my wipes? Oh, I took them to the other room. Um, I thought maybe I had a dry one right here in my trash, but I don't. Okay, it'll be fine. Um, anyway, so this is, I put about this much uh, vinegar, white vinegar, and about this much peroxide. So it, it's a little more vinegar than peroxide. And then I sprinkled salt inside, about a tablespoon, teaspoon, tablespoon of salt. And I've done this before and it worked really well. So, um, and it really only takes a couple hours, but you know, the longer you leave it, probably the better it is. But that's cool water. You know, I might, you know, that would smell like vinegar. I was gonna say I could dye paper with it, but wouldn't it, it would smell, I think. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so let me see what we can do here. So what I'm going to do is, I think that looks good. I had another leaf. I had this one and um, it doesn't fit in this frame, but I do like that. And I think I don't have another one. I think this is something Mary sent me. And um, you know, it fits in this one, but you guys aren't here to tell me what looks better. This also has a little pink. It's one of those kind of uh, plants with the little pink in it. Um, sorry, I don't know. Let me see something. That's too far over. I've got to remember this is. Now, I just, I think I like the green frame, and I want more of the books to show. So I think I'm going to stick with that. Okay, so let's, um, let's glue this on. Let me glue that to the top of that first. 
so I hope everybody's doing doing well. I'm sorry. Um, sticky page. Uh, I am finally, I think, able to settle down again a little bit. Um, now I'm not sure if that glue stick's going to work very well with that. So let's use. Um, Art glitter. Yeah, I, I'm just um, just want things to like calm down. My son is coming though, so that will I'll have a lot to do. And then um, yesterday I showed you my porch. Well, that's the back porch. Now I have to do the front porch, but I'm not going to do a lot right now. I'm going to find the right stuff. I just cleared everything off my porch and got rid of it. Uh, I have a couple things that my kids give me and stuff I wouldn't get rid of, but yeah, because I just have to get rid of this stuff. I'm gonna set this here and I'm going to, oh, do I need to ink around this? This is that thick cardboard. Tim Holtz. I think it needs a little bit of inking. My ink is almost dry. I've, I've got to open a new one. I just kept spritzing it with water and kept using it. Okay. And I'm coming up to 200 subscribers. I just can't believe that. Um, I don't know how they're finding me, but, oh, come on, glue. It usually is not acting up, but I don't know. Well, that's not very. Sometimes I think it gets like, um, air bubble or something in it or the glue is dried up inside a little bit or something or it's getting thick may have to thin it out or something okay and let's try to get that kind of I want to make sure that that flower up there in that corner is Pretty much in. Okay. I guess I didn't need to really glue all that right now. Um, scissors. Try these little small ones. I didn't need to go all the way out with this, but I didn't know where to, I was going to set it down. I'm gonna set that there because I want to glue this, these little bits on. Oh, I'm gonna try glue stick on this because I think it'll lay down flatter. And put a little. I hope I've got that kind of right. So just put this little piece of book page in here so it goes along with that up there.
Okay, let me just kind of eyeball this because I want these little holes in it. I'm going to, whoops, I think that's too low or too high where I put the edge. All right, I'm going to put that right here. this on too. Not our glitter. Right there. I think I'll use fabric tack because I want this to hold on good. Even though I'm always afraid fabric tack is going to squirt out the edges. I'm not going to go all the way to the edges. And then when I get that other clip, I think that'll look cute. I'm not sure how I'm going to tie it on. If I'm going to do two clips, like the Sunflower Journal, um, or maybe tie it in and wrap it around to close it. I'm not sure. Okay, so now inside here, we've got to fix this. Um... So I was thinking I can probably, that piece is not long enough. Um, I wonder if this would be strong enough. To hold it. I don't think so. I need something. I don't have that tape. Um, I don't even have one of those, uh, what do you call them, plastic bags. Those shipping bags that I've kept. What am I going to use? Fabric is always strong, but what? this in there. I mean, that's really strong. That's not going to be stuck to that. That's going to be stuck to here. But that look, I think that looked good. and it will be strong. Let's see if I can cut this. I better need a little extra. My arm is so sore from painting. Oh. I'm going to run out 
out of that. And then I got bruises because the pressure washer guys, I have a, a door that sits on my porch. It's like a vintage. It was from this house. And um, I wanted to keep it because it has the original doorknobs and all that. The house is like 85 years old or something like that. And um, they didn't move it back, so I had to move it, and it was heavy. And I was trying to maneuver it, and then it hit me. I'm trying to think what glue I want to use. Um, I guess I better use fabric tack. I would use the Sobo, but I'm just going to put it on to the fabric tack. That way when I lay it down. I have to have plenty of it. I'm not sure if I have. Another part of a bottle I didn't get any, and I thought, oh, what little last. I don't know, I hate it when I don't have a coupon at Joann's because, not Joann's, but um, Hobby Lobby, because with the coupon, I could get it for half price, because it's 11 something a bottle. But I probably could get it at Michael's, I guess, and use, I think they have, still have their coupons. It's just that farther for me to go to Michael's. In fact, I thought they closed it. Um, I went there a little over a week or so ago, and because I was in the neighborhood, and I drove up, and they were closed. And so, let's see if I got that pretty even. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I don't think, anyways, as long as it's straight here. So they were closed, and um, I was, like, totally disappointed. I'm going to try to get that down in there. Some sobo up there on the, this edge. Okay. Because if it's not good enough, it'll I can do it. Um. All right. So now this hopefully is going to fit in there like that. I don't know, something's missing. Oh, something just doesn't look right. Hmm. Maybe uh, something on this. I don't know. Maybe this needs a little discoloring. Maybe it's a little too... a little better. It's just a little whitish. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let's I guess I'll just go down this. I can leave this upside down. So I hope some of you will give this journal, you know, this type, a try. I think it's working out. Put a lot of glue on there. But I want it to hold good and sturdy. Oh, and it's not upside down, right? No. 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 Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so afraid I'll put it upside down. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to have to let that sit. Yeah, because it's got to dry to the back to hold it in. So I'm going to let this sit. I don't think I have a paper clip, so I'll have to um, lay a book on it or something. But I feel like I need something out here. I had some Tim Holtz um, plates like this, but I didn't know if I would like that on there. I wished it was in more of a brassy color. Maybe I'll come up with something for there before the next. Yeah, I just, I don't think, I don't know another word. Definition would not fit there. Well, I'm going to leave it that way for now, and then if I see something that I'm just looking at that, it looked like it was off, but it, it looks okay. Alrighty, so I guess uh, my time might not be up, and then I'll dry this, and then I'll uh, come back and do another little short section of it, and we'll see you know, going through it so we can get it finished so I can get started on another journal. I don't know that I want to do two journals at one time. I think it's hard to put everything away and get out the the other stuff. So that's um, my thought is I was just going to stick with one journal next time. So that's why I wanted to get this and the Sunflower one done. Okay, guys. Um, I hope I see you back here. If not, I will put this video up and and you can see how far we've progressed okay bye okay um i was able to get back so i thought i'd just uh, continue on with this um journal the um uh, i'm going to call it the botanical flip fold journal this is kind of uh broken here i don't know if i should try and maybe i'll glue it a little bit or should i leave it like it is because that's just part of this old book all right so I'm gonna open it for the first time I just hope everything moves the way it should so I didn't check this before I did that okay so see that's where it's weird I don't know I guess it's you know, it's okay. I mean, maybe I'll just keep it and not sell it. Yeah, something is wacko here. What is it? Hmm. I don't know. I don't feel like this should be a problem. That's a problem right here. I thought I fixed that. All right, I'm going to where was this problem? I'm I'm going to glue. Let's see. I'm going to glue right here. So inside here, it didn't really uh, glue down to the fabric there. So it's possible that if I do this again, 
See, I wasn't even planning on putting um, any kind of spine. I was just going to... Okay, so now this one is... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's the same one. Oh, I don't know. little stiff right here but hmm. I mean it's still a good journal right it just isn't pages don't quite turn as nicely as they should and maybe I just need to work with it so these are doing better now I think it maybe it was just um One. Okay. That's the pocket. This one's gonna have to. I gotta figure out here what to do. This is good. This one is okay. It also maybe needs to have some glue in here. They're always, a we're always able to fix these. Anything can fix. Okay, let me leave that closed for a second and we'll see how it works then. All right, so, gosh. I think I need to stick to what I know. <laughs> this is the stuff I don't know. Okay, so um, here is the rusty stuff. I was gonna check and see how how it is. Let me get this and it's been, oh, let's see, it was about four, three hours or so that I've been not moving it. Well, I could grab something. This turns sort of a copper color. That probably wasn't real metal in it. Okay, this is the one I want, this one. So it's not real um, rusted yet, but I think it's gonna look kind of cool because it's sort of a pinkish color. So I think I'm gonna leave that in there. This one didn't even change color. And that's possible because, you know, this one was silver and it's totally black, rusty. And this is just a rusty one. So, um, I'm gonna leave that in, those in there a little more, maybe until tomorrow and um, see if they got more rusted. So, so this is kind of actually pretty now. It's kind of a pink color. I really have to undangle that and redo it. This was uh, something I found like at a thrift store or something. I think it's even missing one of the little dealies on there. But, okay, so there's that. Let me set that. Oh, I was going to show you too. I've been getting, well, tons of, of junk mail, but... I got this in the mail and it was red and I thought this will be perfect for Christmas. So, cause the window, I really like that. And then here we can just cover all these things with collage, you know, not cover all the red, but, and then the same with the back if we use the back, but I'm thinking that would make um, a cute um, pocket or whatever there. And we can cover, but still use that red. And this one I got, which has a really cool pocket in it, too. So, anyway, start saving those. Thinking about, you know, Christmas. It's just around the corner. All right, so I needed a journal card for inside this first page. 
And let's see what else this needs sewed. I'm trying to think. Um, seems like we had another plate. This one here is driving me nuts. That tab. I got it on there a little crooked. And, and I don't like it. So let's see to fix it. I'm thinking I can just cut this away. Like that. And get a new tab. Where are you? Tab. I don't know right in front of me, but the words up there. So I'm going to get one of these, I think, because I think these are bigger. No, nope, that's a, a different tab. Oh, darn. I don't know if I can cover it good enough. Maybe I could just get So I'm, I was thinking to myself after my little thing I had to do today, I'm like, okay, I don't have anything else I have to do. I'm going to be free. And guess what? I'm not. I forgot that my granddaughter, daughters, well, for one, one's going to summer camp and drama camp, and it's all the same uh, week. The other one's going to drama camp, too. But the other one has a church camp. And um, so my daughter is also one of the, um, oh, I don't know, like a leader or a chaperone or something like that. So she's going to be at camp. So two days of the week, next week, I have to watch my one granddaughter the whole, all the time because the other one's going to be at camp. But my daughter's going to be gone too. So... I'm going to watch the younger granddaughter, the one who's always at my house anyways. And, um, but I have to go pick them up and at camp and take them. I have to pick them up from drama and take them to camp, which is not that far from me at all, but it's just another, oh, that matches that. How cool is that? Just another project for me to do, you know? All right. I do like this journal. I, I love all the stuff that come from it. Oh, we got a, this color tab here too. Maybe we'll do another one in that color. And I need one for right here in the front. Okay, let me see. This is done. That one we put that. And there's another pocket. Okay, so we need two journal cards that fit in those pockets. So, I think that one's too small. I'm not off screen, off camera, I just, yeah, that one feels a little small. Um, hmm. It's like, how hard is it to make a journal card or have a journal card handy? I like it. I got these two, but again, um, Go too far in. All right. Where'd you go? 
shelf. So like five inches, five by six should fit. So let me cut something five by six. Let's see if I have some, oops, file folder, big enough. Pocket too. And so Mary did a video. Um, Mary made a journal on YouTube. She is um, a subby of mine, and she's a friend of mine. And um, we were. I was telling you guys that I didn't know how to do this um, thing where it would, uh, you know, be free and and fall the way it's supposed to. And I'm not going to do it now, but um, if you want to see how to do it, go to her video. She sh explains how to do it so that they dangle better. Uh, this one's not too bad, but um, yeah. So I had no idea that you could do the way Mary shows how to do it. It just never never came to me like that, or I never seen anybody do it. So go take a look and see what you think. She's just starting out. Yeah, that'll work. I mean, it's um, it's the right width for both of them. A little bit shorter than, but you can reach in and find it. Okay. So now we got to cover them. Hmm. This reminds me of a thing that I just saw someone do. Um, yeah. Save it for another day. Okay. Let's see what we've got. do I want to cover it with? Um, what do I want to put? Well, we know we need one side needs to be journal page. So let's use this. Because it's the right. in the refrigerator. I have one in the refrigerator, but I forget to get it out. It doesn't do any good, does it? Just put stuff somewhere and then not use it, get it out to use. All right, I'm gonna use, um, I think I'm gonna skip that uh, design at the top and just use the line part. Uh, you can see I'm in if I'm in screen I'm testing this I moved it I didn't move the camera I zoomed in a little bit with my phone because I felt like everything was like too far away but maybe it's not I I don't know I watch other people's video and I'm like okay you can't even see their hand you know their arms you can only see their hands and their little tiny workspace and how they you know stay in screen I don't know. Oh, 
always trying to figure things out, right? Okay, so. Like I said, it's gonna go this way. No, it's gonna go that way. Okay, that's good, it's going up the right way. Um, so that's not very pretty right there. I don't know, let me put something down that side. Okay, let's do the other side. All right, so this side would be something to put on. I do love this leaf. I wonder if I should use some of this. Yeah, let me use some of this as a background, uh, part of the background, and then I'll use some on the other one. And I can use this leaf because this does match the book, right? All right, I think, so let's put just a, a book page there. Let's use a book page from the book. Let's see if I can, there was a loose page up here. So, believe my time's up because I wanted to finish this at least. Oh, see I have the other video ahead of this one, so. Okay, I'm gonna cover this entirely because I want um, to trim it to the edge. to sit down and work on those tags waste all this paper. I want to use it in the other one as well. Maybe I should have made the book page a little bit bigger. I'll wait to it a little bit for the other page. Okay. to rip this off. Whoops. So yesterday was a short video, so this day may be a little longer. I don't know, is there 
a right or a wrong, that's kind of like the way it goes. Hmm. Well, so much for ripping the edge. I don't want it to go the wrong way. That looks crooked. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of thinking about my granddaughter's drama class. She loves it so much. Um, not last year, but she has um, bright, bright red hair. And um, it's long, like almost to her waist, I guess I would say. And um, so not last year because they didn't have drama camp last year because of the COVID uh, situation. So. The year before that, she was um, Ariel in Little Mermaid. And uh, kind of, <laughs> then the teacher, whoever the guy was, that this is through the high school, and he goes, and we didn't pick you just because you have beautiful long red hair. <laughs> we picked you because you can act. And it was cute when she said that. Because, you know, that's kind of what you would think, right? And who knows, maybe that's really what, what happened, but... Anyway, she she loved it. She's very um, okay. So I'm not like super crazy about this because um, it needs something else, and I don't. What? But let's look at the straw paper and stuff. I don't really want to put cloth because I think that'll be like that. Just something. And, um, or do you think that's um, put a label on it? That green might be too too bright. big label. I don't often get to use those big ones. But I want this in the back. I don't think it needs to be that big. need a little bigger piece of straw paper. Oh, I don't have any because All right, let me rip another piece of the straw paper. taking off a little off the edge of it. All right, I just kind of like this color. I don't know if I like the green as much as I, I just like the look of the straw paper. it 
gives it a lot more contrast. that um, and I'll sew around this too I was just thinking maybe I a stamp would look nice up there the green stamp these are the ones I cut from Mary that she sent I think she said it was a 1957 stamp book. Hmm. Or I could do this color that kind of brings in the pinkishness of the flower. five things. Yeah, I think I like that one. I think um, the hue is a little more the right color. All right, so I've already inked that. I'm going to ink this stuff. how I had it. That goes there, that goes there. Get this over more. It's amazing how you can move stuff and then it just not be where it was. Okay. I like Dragonfly uh, 49 does. She just glues it from the top. It's like it has to be right.
I guess I could have used glue stick on this. Well, I got to use that anyway, that that leaf. And I wanted to put that in this journal. So. Okay, and then I need a tab for this. Did I put tabs away? No. I'm not going to put it on yet, but I think I'm going to use the same style. as this other ones. Uh, this tab, it's going to go in this, this direction. No, I guess it goes this way. I was thinking it went that way. Okay, so. Um, what happened here? <laughs> what do I do now? Okay, so I'm going to put it down around here. I guess it doesn't have to be exactly even across the bottom. So I'm not sure the pages and all that are in there correctly to make it the fan fold the way I intended. Um, I'm not going to call it a fail because it's still completely usable, but I guess I'll have to wait till I get completely done and, you know, I may realize that I can do this or that to make it better. But I think if you make it, whoops, I want down here. If you make it, um, just keep that in mind, uh, the pages and what side to uh, glue your items to, because that's where I messed up. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I want to sew it. <sighs> All right, well, let's sew over it. Let me just hang out a little bit so it dries. Because see, that time I opened it and then it acted like weird, like right here. Um, this is, oh, I think what the problem is, is this one, I did a page, I pulled it in half, and put it on there. But when you close the book, it will close correctly. Okay. All right, so that's it. And um, yeah, let's see. I may move these journal cards around a little bit. This one probably should have been up here. This is white. It's really cute though. I hope you like the front. Alrighty guys, I guess that's it for today. Um, I will see you in the next video. Um, 
maybe I'll just make one more journal card and then we'll do a, like a flip through and we'll be finished with this. And I can get my clip on there, whatever I decide I'm gonna do with that and put sorry silk or something. Okay, so you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video, bye.